Hi! Welcome to the first chapter of the course. We are going to learn the fundamentals of the Swift programming language. As we know, there is theory and practice. We can accumulate all the knowledge in the world, but it will have very little value without a particular application. Having an application in mind makes the learning path more clear, more definitive, because we already know why we are learning one thing or another. I would identify two types of context. The first one, when you have a particular problem. For example, you want a unicorn to walk on your app screen and do a little dance in the middle. In this case, you would be looking for a particular solution. And the second one is broader, when you have an idea or a concept. For example, you want to help a dog owner community in your city. In this case, you would be exploring the variety of solutions. So, how are they different? When you have a particular problem in mind, you will be looking for a particular solution. You'll know approximately what to expect. You'll have the foundation of the knowledge to begin with. For example, if you already know how to make an espresso, and now you need to learn how to make a cappuccino. We know that espresso is part of cappuccino. Every next project you're going to work on will expose this kind of situations. You will have a base of knowledge to start working on it, and you'll have to learn something new to accomplish something you don't yet know. Learning in context is very useful because you know why you're learning it. So, what context shall we use to learn fundamentals of the Swift programming language? Did I say espresso and cappuccino a minute ago? Let's imagine that you, like me, love coffee. Every day on your way to work, you stop by a local coffee shop that makes the best coffee and sells delicious pastries. Sometimes on Saturdays, you even go there for food. Some days, when it's not too busy there, you chat with the owner, Jenny. She is very friendly and you can tell very passionate about her trade. Of course, she loves coffee and it makes her happy to see people enjoy her place. But she also needs to think about business aspect of her venture, plan for the future and grow her business. Before she puts her ideas to practice, she needs to do a little bit of calculations. Why not help her to test it out in code? We'll call our project Smart Bean. And in the next chapters, we'll see how we can help Jenny to grow her business. See you then!